Welcome folks, this is Shebi Tafia. Thank you for joining Unity Experts. So, in this tutorial we are going to create two, two new prefabs. The first prefab, uh, prefab is uh, where there is a collision between our target game object and the, our, uh, uh, remover, uh, our remover prefab, uh, the width of our target will be multiplied by health uh, when there is a collision between our game object and our target and the, uh, the second uh, prefab will be for adding width to our target game object but before we get started make sure that uh, the add score script is applied to our target game object and make sure that there is no type of any colliders is applied to our dino uh, dino uh, game object. So, uh, uh, one other thing, make sure that our box collider is applied uh, to our target, and there is no any type, uh, there is no uh, no colliders is applied to our dino. So let's get started. Let's up, uh, import our sprites. Okay. The first, the first sprite is to add with, let's scale it. Box. Let's apply a, a box collider. Okay. Default sourcing layer by four. Let's create in the script folder. Let's create a new C sharp script. Add width. Okay. Let's re rename the update method to on trigger enter collider to the call F call point game object point tag is equal to it. And now let's create a new tag. What does transfer? On local scale equal to vector let's check the x value of our scale zero three zero six
Okay, let's save. Let's apply a rigid body. Trigger answer 3D. Okay. Let's say now let's apply our add width to our target. Okay, let's test. Okay. Make sure that each trigger is checked. When there is a collision, our game object will be automatically, the width of our game object will be multiplied by two. Okay. Now let's make a little bit change. Public. X, for example, X of variable width with M is going to be float. Example width M will be zero six. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now let's create a new variable remover. Exactly the same. Okay, add component. It should body. Six to the box collider. Okay. Omega C. Let's save. Make sure it's trigger. Okay. Let's test. Okay, when there is a collision with our remover game object, the width of our dyno will be, will be automatically reduced by half. And if there is a collision between our game object and our multiplier 
uh, value it will be automatically uh, multiplied by two so now let's create a new prefab prefabs add width remove it let's remove them let's create a new spawner control D size 2 the first is for our advert and the second is our remove so let's test okay that's great in the next tutorial we are going to fix we are going to add some new argument we are going to play with time after 10 seconds our game object uh, our target game object width will be uh, uh, automatically returned to its uh, initial size thank you so much see you in the next tutorial thank you for joining unity experts and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel